Join me today for a toned arm workout that's going to build strength and definition in our arms. This is perfect for women over 50 and we're going to work on the shoulders, the triceps and the biceps. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. This workout is perfect for you if you want to start building some definition in your arms and this is the full workout based on a video I did many years ago. I'll leave it up here to show you uh, where I just talked about it. So I'm actually going to do the workout now and it really works, I promise you. So the first things first, we're going to use dumbbell weights and you choose the weight that you feel comfortable with and it's based on how many reps you can do without getting too tired but not being too easy. So for example, these are one kilo weights. So if I was going to do 10 exercises like this and get through it very easily, I'd go up to a two kilo. And this is a two kilo here. So if this is too easy for me, at the end of 10, I'll go up to three kilos. So when you ask yourself the question, what size weight should I use? you decide based on how it feels in your arm. And having strong arms as we get older helps us in so many ways because if we stop using our arms to reach or you know to, to pick things up or carry bags, we're instantly disadvantaged. So to keep ourselves strong and healthy as we get older, do some of this a couple of times a week just to keep your strength up. And you'll be surprised as so many of my ladies who are doing these exercises at how quickly you get the definition in your arms. And if you're new to Fabulous 50s, click subscribe and ring that bell for more videos created for women over 50. Okay, I'm excited, let's get started. This workout is going to include five exercises. We're going to go through them two times each. You can go through them three times when you get a little bit more strength up, but we're going to start with shoulder raises and we're going to do them slowly. And this will be 10 on each arm. It's two, three, and take them up slowly and stop at your shoulder. That's 20. Now have a little rest. I'm gonna rest our arm for just a few seconds, probably 30 seconds. I'm not timing this um, because I'm talking to you while I'm doing it, but just have a little rest, reset, and then start again. Hold your core in tight, back straight. That's 20. You can lay your weights out here and when you're feeling strong enough, pick up a heavier weight, do the exercise, and then you can drop it and pick up a lighter weight. It's entirely up to you, but if you challenge yourself a little bit, you're going to get faster results. So the next exercise is also working on the shoulders and they're lateral raises. We're going to bring our arms out and to the center. Two, three, Four, keep your core held in tight. Five, six, seven, shoulders high, and have a rest. If you practice going up a little bit and when it's too difficult, go down one or two at a time and you'll notice that your body starts to adjust and it gets used to it. So that's a really good way to build your strength. 
Okay, had a rest. Do another 10. Okay, we're going to work on the triceps next. And pretty much every woman over 50 or every woman over 30 <laughs> needs to work on this area because we don't use it much in day-to-day -day life. So they don't become very well developed. So this is a great exercise to really help with that. So take your arm up and then touch your muscle. And then we're going to bring it up and back. We're going to do 10. But as you do these, touch the muscle so that you can have a mind-body connection as to what you're doing. You can feel it. And even if you've got a lot of weight in your arms, still feel it and think about where that muscle is and what you're doing with it, okay? You know I was talking, I didn't count, I think that was 10. We're going to do the other arm now. So take your arm up, hold your muscle, hold your tricep muscle, and we're going to do 10. Great job. Okay, I'm going to do the other one and I'm just gonna quickly show you, we don't do this. It's very purposeful. So think of your muscle and then think of it going up and down without moving and swaying your arm too much. on that side now 10 on this side take your arm feel your muscle get your tricep in your mind done so you can feel just as we're doing that we're getting stronger and that's such a good feeling because if we're strong that's everything okay we're going to continue doing triceps and this time we're going to hold our arms close to our body so you put your elbows into your waist and we're going to take our arms back and keep that strong have a rest when you're ready and when you get good at this do three sets I'm only doing two with you today and from 10 you can go to 12 or 15 so it's entirely up to you but for today we're doing two sets of 10 We're doing great work and it's not that painful. 
And once it's done, it's done and you can finish your day knowing that you've done something really good for your body. Okay, next we are going to do bicep curls. Okay, so bicep curls, we're going to bring our arm up and down, up and down. 10, so this is four. Squeeze your muscles as you come up. Uh, with bicep curls, this is what you don't do. You don't just do this because you're not going to get the full effect. You need to, again, you could hold your bicep and bring it up and extend all the way down to your thigh. And that's going to give you the full movement. We'll do our second set of 10. That was so good and so quick and so easy, but my muscles have been worked and I've been able to challenge myself. One thing that we don't do enough of is stretch our wrist. Think about how often you put your wrist in a different position than normal day to day. Not very often. And it doesn't matter where you are on your fitness journey. If you're exercising right now, you're an exerciser. You've made the challenge for yourself. You're doing the work and you will get the results. Feel that? How good does that feel? It hurts a little bit, doesn't it? Don't push it, just gently stretch. This muscle here, it gets hardly any love during the day. <laughs> okay? So, and, and move your hands around and get those moving as well. Different movements and it's a really great idea for us to change up what we do every day. To change our exercise and to trick our brain so that it doesn't know what's coming the next day. And that's why workout challenges are great because every day is something different and we're using different parts of our body. And I think with me, when I started exercising, I used to do the same thing every day. But my body got used to it and the results started slowing down. So I think it's really great to do something different every day and don't even think about what you're going to do. Just wake up and choose something different for your body. And if you're going to do a workout with dumbbell weights, say on a Monday, don't do it again on Tuesday. Wait at least till Wednesday or Thursday so that your muscles have time to repair because that's when all the good work happens. So we work them hard, we let them have a rest. So on Tuesday you might work legs or glutes or your abs and that way your body gets a really good taste of all of the great things that you can offer it. So thank you so much for working out with me today. If you enjoyed this workout, please give a thumbs up and share it to a playlist. And I've got some more videos for you to watch. If you would like to work on your abs next, which I think you should, choose this video. And if you'd like to stretch and calm down for the rest of the day, choose this video next. Thank you so much for working out with me today and I'll see you tomorrow.